Hey, buddy, are you hungry? Yeah. And what do you want for a snacko? Cheese, please. Okay, let's go get some cheese. Yum. All right, let's get him some cheese. Mmm, charcuterie tin. Yum. Hmm, we got choices. What do you want, bacon or do you want cheddar? Bacon. Guess bacon cheese it is. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to another one of these vlogs of mine. You're wondering about that intro clip, what there that came from. There's a YouTube channel, an Instagram channel, a Facebook web page, a freaking TikTok of these two dogs named Hammy and Olivia. And the guy literally shoots videos like this daily, and I saw it. And I couldn't believe how funny it was, so I'm like, you know what? I could probably do that with Oreo, but he does it better. Go check him out sometime. Remember how I was rushing with that music video? To have it done for this Saturday. And then I mentioned next Saturday, I'm going to be doing a live Pride uh, Pride live show. Well, turns out that's no longer happening. Because of scheduling issues and such, they're not going to do the Pride live show on the 18th. Instead, they've arranged a, uh, a fundraiser event with a local hair stylist, uh, hair salon called Flair by Raven. And they're going to be doing a uh, pay what you can haircut or hair, whatever, anyway. Charity event at the, and we're going to do a live show while we're there. So I'll be booked in for that time slot now instead. So that's on, that's going to be on January 30th. So now there's no rush on the music video. There's no rush on anything. We can just get it done when we get it done. And that means this weekend and next weekend I'm off. As in, I got nothing going on. Just going to be doing me stuff. I've been trying to think of ideas for this weekend for a video. I got a couple ideas in mind. I was thinking I haven't had a campfire in a while. Mainly because just haven't been home on the weekends. And when I am home, it's raining and windy. And there's nothing in the bylaw saying you can't light a fire in the winter. As long as A, it's not foggy out. B, the wind conditions are decent. And see, it's not raining. But does snow classify as rain? Nope, that's snow. So in theory, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to light a fire this weekend. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. Lighting a fire, maybe getting some uh, shitty steak and chicken. Do a fire roasted meal. Could be kind of fun. I also uh, want to take apart that MacBook. Just see how bad that battery inflated. So that'll be a separate video there too. This weekend, I might use it to try and get a little bit ahead. Make a couple of videos. Reason being is sometimes I just want a day off doing nothing. And the best way to do that, if you're trying to do a video every day, is to get ahead in life. I got a lot of ideas. I won't be working on the weekend. I'll be able to get them done. I think that's a pretty good idea in my mind. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Try and push ahead. See if I can crank out a couple of videos each day. Right now, I'm like two days in advance. Well, theoretically three, because yesterday was Wednesday, and the video I filmed yesterday is going up Saturday, so yeah, three days in advance. I'd like to get a little bit further, because I don't know if I'll be able to film around Christmas time. Um, I'll be too busy to even pick up a camera, but you never know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. We'll have to see what we do and do what we see. But I do kind of want to keep going with the video every day for all of December. Come January, I might cut it back a bit, go to video every other day. Because I've been playing around with ideas. And the problem is when you do a video every day, I mentioned it before, you got to cut corners, right? You can't be making highly edited videos. You got to basically go fast. You got to rapid application development and send it out and try and do your best to make something that people want to watch. It's not easy when you're a one man army. Like uh, a lot of these places that do videos every day, they usually have a, a crew behind them, you know, one person's filming, you got your actors. Then you got your editors. So they'll sit there all day, every day, and produce content, like nonstop. They'll make um, all sorts of videos in one day, and then the next day they do the same, the same, the same. So they're producing like two to three videos a day while they have a team of editors editing up the previous day's shot videos. So there's always new content being created, and the amount of footage they lose is insane. Like, you, know, you look at production companies like J2 Studios, even uh, VLDL, you look at them, and it's not just one guy and a camera and a computer. It's a whole crew, a whole team producing content nonstop, back to back to bickety back. So when you have that, you can usually get away with a video every day because you have a team back and you. But when it's just you, yourself, and yourself, and you're working a day job, <laughs> producing a video every day can be kind of cumbersome, especially when you're trying to make it interesting during the times of COVID when you're stuck in your freaking house because... That's stupid. But anyway, but I got a couple ideas, but it requires some heavy editing and I don't want to be stressed. Like I don't want to be stressed out about something that's a hobby because a hobby should never stress you out. A hobby should be where you go to release your stress, you know, like when you go fishing. Um, I know a lot of people who are fishing YouTubers 
And they're actually starting to not like fishing because now it's starting to feel like a job. Like they have to go, not because they want to, but they have to. And they're actually not enjoying it as much. And you would think if you're like an angler, you'd be like, well, every day on the lake would be a good day. Well, not when you're forced to do it because you need to put up content to bring in money for your family. Like I don't, this is not my income ever, ever has been, ever will be. This is just me having fun with a camera and making content for you guys. But at the same time, I kind of want to make quality content. You know, um, the one thing I did notice was a great drop in subscribers. Mind you, the view count actually went up. So it doesn't really matter, right? It's just people are unsubbing because they don't like the content I'm putting out now. And that's okay. That's perfectly fine. I do it to other people too. Like I unsubbed from a whole bunch of gaming channels because I just don't watch video gaming videos much anymore. You know, I subscribe to more or less... Uh, I also unsubscribe from a bunch of uh, outdoor channels because I just didn't care for their content anymore. And I get it, but the view count's actually going up from what it was before, and I appreciate that. But it's just telling me that the content I'm making now is either A, boring some, or B, people want something different, or they came here for something before that they're not getting now. So that's where like, I'm, I basically want more time to edit better video, um, not edit better videos, but to produce better content, which is why like video every other day or video when I can comes into play. But mind you, I can shoot these videos, these vlogs, and then in the background work on a project that I can put up some other time. That's not a problem. Anyway, guys, I got to get back to work because uh, they're paying me to do a job today, like every other day. Paychecks are sweet. Oh, I keep forgetting to turn off this camera when it's hooked up to the USB cable. It's the only way it friggin' charges. But whatever, I'm stupid and I do things wrong all the freaking time. Anyway, guys, it's 2.30 and it's lunchtime. And I'm off at 5 today. They haven't come and picked up the garbage yet. You know what? I need some pants on. Currently not wearing... Oh, well, I'm wearing pajama pants. I need to go put my garbage out. I haven't done that yet. Man, this DJI Osmos has great video, but the buttons on it are so damn wonky. Like... You got to press it a certain way. Like I'm sitting there and I was trying to turn off the video a while ago and I'm pressing it at different angles and it wouldn't take them. Finally, it did. It's a real shame too, because uh, out of all my cameras, this one takes the best video. Well, the GoPro does too. I have no idea what the heck I'm going to have for lunch though. I'm not really hungry, but I am kind of hungry and I didn't really take anything out because uh, tonight I'm going to cook that meat pie for supper and have some of that and then the rest of it I'll have it for lunch tomorrow. But uh I talked to Nikki about it and she said just she's like uh, she has a frozen food line and these pies are one of them uh, this pie here though like sometimes products get damaged in cooking and stuff so they can't sell it so what they end up doing is they give it away or they destroy it and this pie here was one where the crust was all cracked so it wasn't presentation value worthy so she was going to destroy it and I'm like well let me have it like I've, I want to try it out I want to see how good it is so I've already tried the fruit pies and they're fantastic. Meat pies with gravy and all that shit in it? Hell yeah. Down with that. So uh, she said just drill it in the oven at 350 for about uh, an hour. And uh, when you take it out, it'll be good to go. So tonight I'm going to be lifting at 5. I'll throw it in the oven till 6. And then <laughs> down the freaking hatch, bud. And that'll be pretty awesome. But right now, I think I'm going to go piss myself. I was thinking about having charcuterie for lunch, but freak, we already had that. I don't know. Let's see what he thinks. You think we should have charcuterie? Yeah. Okay. Of course, he's going to say yes to charcuterie, right? Because he's a freaking dog and he loves cheese. So maybe we'll grab some of that. We'll take it upstairs and we'll mow down. Because the only other option I really have are these thought out. Nikki brought me these things too. These Kirkland branded hot dogs. And uh, I remember I had them at my buddy uh, John's house. He had a campfire and we had it there and it was pretty friggin' legendary. But uh, I'm thinking charcuterie because the other option I, I was going to do is pork rinds and this other Borson's cranberry and pepper cheese and just pork rinds and that. Trying to keep her freaking keto friendly here. Not counting macros, just eating until I'm full because that's always been a smart idea. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take this upstairs. What do you think? Best idea ever? I can't tell what you're doing. You know what? First, I'm going to grab myself a cola. Because might as well go for a soda. Grab some soda pops. Grab some charcuterie. And while we're at it, I'll come over and mess with this thing. Hello, scampers. I said hello. Hmm. Who's a kitty? Hmm. 
Still can't get Scampered to talk. She's like eight years old. You'd think she would. But, you know, I don't know how old Felix was when he wouldn't shut up. So, ah, one day she'll, she'll chime in and she'll talk. One day. We'll see. Maybe I'll have to get Oreo to teach her how to talk. You want to go outside? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, guys, last break of the day. And I'm going to let Potato Face outside. I got to go grab my garbage can. I put it out just in the nick of time. Uh, right when I put it out, the guy came by and scooped it up. Because I put it out and I grabbed the charcuterie and went upstairs. And Cookie Monster and I devoured a bunch of shit. And then while we were devouring, he drove by. So, awesome. So let's go grab that freaking garbage can. And then we'll, uh, my fire pit. It's literally a snowman. Whatever. I think he's admiring the fire pit too. Look at it, it's like covered in snow. One good light lit fire and that'll be solved, but oh, my wood's also covered in snow. Having fun, dude? Poopy time. Are you gonna rifle one off? Do you do you. Oreo's having a milk dud shit right now. From on that friggin' cheese. Cheese bees. Coming in the house, what's happening? Hey, coming in? Yeah, couldn't shut you up this morning and now you don't wanna speak. Yay. Oh, okay. Hey, my other cat was like older than you when it talked. Why aren't you talking? Hmm. Weird. So far, that's all she can really say is meow. One day she might talk. Like I said, I could teach Oreo. But do you guys remember the fiasco when I had Felix teach Oreo how to talk? Because all he could say was one word, which was chooch it. And then he learned stovepipe. And that was it. Everything he said was chooch it stovepipe, chooch it stovepipe. So I made Felix a deal that he would get a large amount of catnip if he taught the dog a new word. And then he taught him how to say the F word. God, that cat was such a dick. He was awesome though, but just a dick. Anyway, I could, you know, Oreo's learned a lot of words. He's pretty good. Like he's pretty basic still. He's kind of caveman-ish with his, with his answers. You know, he usually gives one or two words. I'll be like, you want some cheese? Yeah. You know, do you want, uh, do you want to go outside? Yeah. Like, are you hungry? Yeah. And then he'll be like, cheese, please. Like he'll, he'll say like the basic things, but he won't form a full sentence ever. He just belts out the words that are closest to what he wants. Sometimes he's polite about it. So if he teaches scampers that, it could be just whack. I don't know. It's something we can try. We can, we can, we can maybe try. Let's see if we can get him to do it here. Hey, Oreo, do you think you can teach scampers some new words? Yeah. Really, you will? Yeah. Okay, so Oreo's on board with it. So as long as he's on board with it, I'm on board with it. And I guess the cat's on board with it too. So let's see how this plays out. Oh, hey, how are you now? So, guys, it's like 7.30 at night. I am done my workout. You might be able to hear the laundry going back there because the laundry's going back there. And uh, I cooked that pie. Let's get that out of the oven. Let me show you what we're dealing with here. Now, if the pie, like, it, it looks a little smashed because, number one, it was kind of partially a little bit unthawed when it went into the freezer and it got smashed. And number two, like I said, um, when they have a pie that they can't sell because it looks decrepit, they throw it out. Well, I'm the garbage can. So it's a turkey pot pie. I'm just going to go ahead here and uh, cut into it. Oh, that's good. Okay, I'm going to plate some of this. Okay, so I made a mess of it, but you got to break it to eat it anyway, so who cares? So that's about uh, a third of the pie. I'm just going to eat that tonight for supper. That should be pretty awesome. And then, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. I'm about to go upstairs and taste test this pie. Yay, yay. All right, guys. The last time I had a pie like this, it was uh, St. Hubert's. It was okay, but let's see how well, how, how much different Nikki's frozen pies are compared to St. Hubert's. Mmm. Okay. First off. That's actually real turkey. Dude, just find out what these are labeled as in grocery stores. I know she said she um, she delivers to Loblaws. I don't know if it's uh, the Berry Hill Farm name or if it's under her name, but these are damn good. Bon appetit. I'm going to eat. Well, dinner was great. Workout was great. Night's going to be great. I got to let Cookie Monster out because he's got to take a great shit. Go play in the snow. He's going to go play in the snow. Oreo is, after all, a winter dog, so he loves the snow. But, uh, yeah, that pie was freaking awesome. Have the rest for lunch. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow should be a pretty good day. Fridays are always freaking easy as cake. A lot of people around this time of year, close to Christmas, they tend to take three-day weekends, so they usually book Fridays off, which is nice because then, you know, it's... Uh, it's a nice follow-up to the weekend. And Saturday, no idea what we're going to do. I got a couple ideas for videos that I want to shoot. <laughs> and Sunday, same thing. A couple ideas for videos I want to shoot. Like I said, I want to build a little bit of a little bit of a lead in the videos in case I need to take a day off or something or, or whatever, you know. So I got a couple, couple of Vlogmas ideas. We're going to do our manure. Maybe make some keto Christmas stuff. I don't know. I honestly don't know. We'll find out when we find out. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, people, it's like 8.30. I'm going to go ahead and shut her down here because uh, 
I want to get to bed at a good hour tonight. I've been going to bed lately at like midnight, like 11 midnight. I'm not falling asleep to like 1, 1.30, tossing and turning all night, not getting much sleep. So I figure I'm going to get to bed at a, would you stop meowing? I'm going to get to get in bed at a good hour tonight. Tomorrow I have a good day at work and then uh, a great weekend to come. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Uh, leave a thumbs up for talking Oreo. Gotta love that shit. That's like a little blast from the past, eh? Maybe we'll get the cat talking too. Let me know what you thought of the talking pets if you want to see more of that shit because uh, that's a possibility. That could definitely happen. It's a little bit more editing, but uh, it's kind of fun to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, fish, lift, cycle, never stop. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.